Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And in the last video, we finally got the first 99 on the account, we got 99 defense. And now the next requirement that we gotta start working towards is 85 fletching for the Western Provinces Elite Diary, and we're currently at level 80. So we went to the Blast Furnace and made a bunch of bars, and we left off making those bars into dart tips, which is where we're gonna be picking up from now. Also, I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of feathers in the bank too. If we check the bank, we got uh, 126k feathers, so that is uh, heaps of feathers. We were set for a while for feathers. I'm so sad too, I actually made like half an inventory of Addy Medhelms before I noticed, but uh, I guess it's some alcohols, but it's kind of sad seeing that in the bank. Okay, doing a bit of AFK woodcutting at U-Logs in the Woodcutting Guild while I edit videos, and uh, there's 84 woodcutting coming in. The U-Logs we're getting are going to be very nice to have for, uh, for training fletching. We're still at 80, and uh, I do have to think about what we're going to do to train that. I don't want to do agility, but probably going to have to do agility. Probably also end up doing some AFK fletching with these U-Logs we're getting as well. Alright. Is that enough XP for the level? It's not. Still 3k left. Next week we'll get a runecrafting level. Okay, easy, medium, start with the easy. Let's see, okay, it's, okay, cool, cool. Medium. Yo, dude, fashion scape. All right, let's put this on. That and that. Oh, look at that. It's not like useful, but it's, it's really cool to have. I feel very uh, like vegan-y or something. Okay, so now we are gonna finally get into doing agility. I'm gonna do it at the uh, Relic course because I prefer Marks of Grace over the extra whatever like two or five K XP difference per hour. Um, also, I'm not gonna be imbuing or alking. I just wanna get all sweaty. I'm getting sweaty enough making these. So I think that's gonna be good enough for me. And, uh, currently 81 agility, 80 fletching. Uh, we're not really here for agility, but I figure we gotta do agility anyway. So might as well do it now while we're training fletching. And, uh, I don't think we'll get all the way to 85 with these dart tips, but hopefully gets at least a couple levels here. Okay, we're finishing up the last of these steel dart tips that we had. It took exactly, pretty much exactly one hour. As you can see, we are really getting good at this a fish in sea. <laughs> okay, here's the XP rates. Averaging like 75k fletching XP and almost 39k agility XP in this hour. So uh, it's not perfect, but I am streaming, by the way. So it does uh, slow down the rates a bit, but we're going to keep at it. Start with the mythal darts now. Now I'll hopefully uh, speed up the fletching XP a little bit here. Got a 112 XP drops instead of the 75 XP drops. And with the Addy, that's going to make uh, 150 XP drops. That's very nice. Fletching will get faster and faster. I'll see you back with the fletching level. A fish in sea. 81 fletching. Let's go. We can make rune darts now. Still got a long way to go with these darts, though. Those Addy darts, those are going to go a long way for sure. There is the last of the Mythal Darts done, so we're gonna move on to the Addy ones now, and uh, still 146k to level this Fletching. I know for sure we are gonna get the Fletching level with these uh, 16k Addy Darts. Not sure if we'll get to 83 though. Also, I don't think we'll get the Agility level either. We started like right from the start of level 81, so I'm not really expecting to get 82. Oh, these XP drops are just so nice to look at. Ah, oh, dude, dude, this is very nice. I wish I could do this forever, but as an Iron Man, by the way, hardcore by the way, can't just have unlimited darts from the GE. Okay, we now have under a 100k stack of feathers, so we're running extremely low. Uh, I probably should stock up on like a couple hundred thousand more, because this is uh, not a great sight to see here. And sweaty macro efficient games! There it is, 82 fletching. You know, when I was maxing on my alt account, I never would have gotten like, I, you never would have caught me doing like this super macro efficient gains. I was like the most AFK person possible, but something about playing the hardcore just uh, motivates me more. All right, this is the last lap we're gonna do. Let's uh, quickly finish up the rest of these dart tips right here. And uh, let's take a look at the XP rates that we got. It's been like four hours and 15 minutes, pretty much exactly. So uh, over the course of these four hours and 15 minutes, still managed to get over 100K fletching XP per hour and 36.4K uh, agility XP per hour. So not too bad. Uh, we're still like only a third of the way through this fletching level. So we'll have to figure out something else to do for fletching. But for now, uh, I'm going to figure out what to do next. I'm kind of not sure now that we're out of darts. We do have U-Logs in the bank. Maybe I'll like spin some flax with the uh, the spin flax spell. And then we could like do bowstrings to the U-Longbows and stuff like that. So let's, uh, let's switch over to Lunars now. Ooh, quick price check here. All the darts are worth uh, 2.6, 2.7 mil. Still not quite sure what to do with the steel darts. I guess I could use them for uh, getting the dust devils to aggro me or something when I'm doing Slayer, but uh, yeah, it's still good to have those, good to have the fletching XP, and uh, it's gonna add to the bank value, especially with those Addy darts. Once you get the blowpipe though, we'll be set on darts for a long time. 
so not too long ago, we opened up all those seed nests, and uh, we got all these seeds now. And because we're on Lunars, let's go humidify all these seeds into plants and uh, stop slacking all, all the farm runs. I've been missing out for a few weeks now. And uh, the farming gains could have been higher by now, but what can you do? Better late than never. Okay, seeds have been planted. I notice we have 22 spirit saplings. I will get around to planting a spirit tree at some point. I just have to uh, strategize a bit and figure it out, but uh, let's do the first tree run in a long time. About to get 6 hour logged, aka nerd logged in 10 minutes, so before we log out, I want to look at the high scores very quickly. So if we uh, look at the high scores here, overall ranking is 201, so let's beat the 6 hour log, log out right here, and if we refresh, 197, top 200. Okay, so let's do some flax to bowstring spell, we got 8.8k flax, currently got uh, 3.7k bowstring. We got 4k U-logs, which we will get more of in the future as I AFK and edit videos, but uh, for now, let's go do some flex spinning spell here. You know I gotta flex my smoke battle staff and my arms rope top, because I can. Okay, we're getting a magic level here, which is going to help a lot when we uh, eventually get to Zora, which we are still working towards, but uh, one more cast of the spell here. And there's 89 magic coming in. Uh, anything new with that level? Teleport to Ice Plateau, dude, that's perfect, man. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, also, uh, I was looking at the total level here. We have 1976 total. Now, I have a good friend of mine. Um, you may know him from his videos. His name's EVscape. But uh, if we go ahead and look him up on the high scores here, uh, take a look right over here. Um, these are his stats. Now, if you go down here, ni ni oh, what what's this? 1970? 1976, but I, I can't die. And they also can't trade. Well, EV can use the Grand Exchange. Huh. That's, uh... Huh. Apparently, I've never made unstrung Yu Longbows on this account. I was trying to put stuff in here, but there's no space. Um, which makes sense, though, because I always save the Yu Logs for the birdhouse runs. But now we got heaps of them. I've been AFKing Yu's a lot. So uh, we're going to start fletching. And uh, we'll get at least one more fletching level from these U logs. In just a few seconds here, we're coming up on 83 fletching, which means we've got two levels left to go after this. Uh, nothing new there. Uh, I guess I didn't really say exactly what the task was before, but it's for the Western Elite Diary. We have to make a magic longbow in the Elven Lands, which, uh, that's why we need 85 for. And, um, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Two levels left to go. It's, uh, 278k to the next level. I'm definitely gonna have to chop more logs at some point, though. It's really late at night, so in the morning while I'm editing, I'll just be chopping the whole time. Okay, so we're not quite at 85 fletching yet, and we do have a couple quests left to do, but because I want to keep the stream entertaining right now, we're going to start the, uh, some of the Western Province tasks right now, because we've only done, um, all the tasks we've done are all from passively playing the game, haven't actually gone out and tried to do anything yet, so let's start with the easy tasks, and, uh, shouldn't take too long, so let's knock these out very quickly. I need a bird snare, and for once, the hunter kit's actually coming in handy, and, uh, cool, we actually do get bird snare from that. It's actually really nice. This is the only time the hunter kit spell's actually been useful for anyone in the history of ever. First task we gotta do is make a oak... Short bow, long, I should know. An oak short bow, so it's a pretty high requirement. I think we can do it. And we got our uh, good old buddy here for good luck. Let's make that uh, short bow. Step one, step two, there is task complete. And uh, got some uh, alone time. I'll be back in about seven seconds. Okay, all done now. Let's uh, go score a goal and uh, in Gnome Ball. It's coming home, boys. Let's just, ah, oh, dude, these kids are hitting me. Oh, he stole the gnome ball, dude. I feel like a bully. I just, <laughs> I just picked him up like a little kid. Okay, can we shoot from here? Goal! I think it's the uh, the new meta for training agility. See ya later, Terrier Bird. Poor bird. All right, there we go. I've never done easy game of pest control until now. We got some uh, some points that I'll add up for the future once we go for elite void, but um, that's another task we have to do. Okay, once we mine this iron ore, we have one task left to go for this uh, easy diary, and the last task we have to do is claim a uh, chompy hat from Rance, and uh, I hope we don't have to do any kills for that. I don't think we have to, but um, that's the thing I've kind of been dreading for a long time is doing these kills. I've never done any of the diaries on my uh, alt account over here. Let me show you. Um, I've never done any of the Western Province diaries on here at all, so I've actually never hunted chompies before. I know, imagine being Max and not having all the diaries done, but believe it or not, there's no requirement of getting the achievement cape to get the max cape, but uh, let's go uh, grab this hat. I don't think there's any requirements for that, just to grab a hat. 
Okay, apparently this guy sells the HE tree logs or Aki tree logs. You can uh, make into the shafts. They need to make the special arrows. You need to hunt the choppies. So I'm making those now. Uh, I think we also have to buy nails and feathers, I think, and maybe something else. But uh, I figure since we're here, might as well stock up on a bunch of the arrows because we have to do the 1k kills eventually. So maybe get like a few thousand of these before we really uh, crack into this. On the bright side though, maybe we can do this all the way to 85 fletching and not even have to worry about cutting more U logs for this. Okay, there's a 1k arrow shaft, so I think that'll last for quite some time. So let's go to uh, the bank. We need to grab some feathers. I think we might have enough feathers in here. Let's see. Uh, that should hopefully last. We also need a hammer. And we also need nails, but uh, we'll go buy some nails from the sawmill. And then I think I'm pretty sure it's all we need to make all these uh, shafts and the arrows. Okay, here's the sawmill. Let's, uh, I guess we're almost sold out of steel nails, but let's just test this very fast just to make sure if we uh, make these, I guess it's a uh, just a one click AFK type of deal. And if we use the nails on these uh, flighted ogre arrows, it should be all we need for the arrows. Cool. Okay, we got steel brutal arrows, so uh, let's uh, turn all these into arrows. Every world was like almost sold out of nails, but now in the 1750 world, check this out. It's like all the steel nails are here. This is the uh, the secret to getting nails. If you're trying to buy a bunch of them, go to a toe level world. You know what? Making the uh, the flightless arrows into the actual arrows gives more XP than just putting the feathers on. We might have a fair shot at getting this level here. <laughs> Not actually. So now we're starting to get into these Western Provinces Diaries tasks. Uh, we don't quite have all the requirements yet, but for me at least, it's going to help me to stay Move, getting at least some of these tasks done and out of the way for now. But otherwise, that is going to be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.